Good morning, your harness. Welcome to the King's Train Center. Dear Prince and Princess, you are the sons and daughters of kings, aren't you? You are so proud of your father, kings, aren't you? But if your father, king, has only a piece of leader, just a piece of little small land and few people, and he does not supply food well and uh, protect people well from the enemies, would you be his sons and daughters? Then just think about perfect idea king's conditions. First, if your father king is so weak and no power, he cannot keep his kingdom need and train as like a lion, powerful, strong animal king. And second, if your father king is, king is not diligent and faithful, not serve food for his people, he has to learn from the ox, cow. Third, if your father king have no wisdom, intelligent, so he cannot well judge between the people. So, a man needs to study well to write chores. The wise king needs to train to get the speed and the rapid discernment like an eagle. Then who will be the most perfect mighty king? King of kings. Yes, that will be Jesus. And let's check and assure the Bible. Ezekiel chapter 1, 10. These are, there are, there are four living creatures prophesied. The likeness, a man described the four living creatures uh, which have four faced characters, features. First, uh, a lion faced on the right side of a man, one of four living creatures. And second, an ox faced on the left side of the man. And third, uh, a man faced on front of si front side of the man. Fourth, an eagle faced on the back. So, these four living creatures suggested, represented perfect king's conditions. God already told us through the Bible. Then, who will be our perfect king? Let's see, yes, Jesus will be the perfect king, of course, but uh, let's check again. Revelation chapter 4, verse 6, 7, and 8, and for chapter 5 and 5, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, it means Jesus, one of the tribe of Lion, yes, yeah, strong Lion. And then the Lord of, Lord of King David, it means he's already a king. His prophesy, his pro properties, Jesus, Properties are not only this small or earth, but also the whole universe. His peoples are not only us, but also universal alien residents. He is made just wonderful king. Why? He's, he chose us. He loves us first. He became as like a weak baby so humble king he live he lives like you little ones so humble to for serve serve the human being he died on the cross bled instead of for us he's so strong so he won our good and evil spectres that's a really uh, nice discern discernment and uh, he is a perfect conqueror victor thank you wow 
God called us. We are His Son. Revelation chapter 21, verse 7. As you are sons and daughters of King of Kings, we have the same conditions in nowadays too. In the Bible, Revelation chapter 5, the end of 5, and then chapter 6, the, the beginning of there are, you can find four living creatures too. We need to get the train to get the kingly identities. But oh, we are so weak, but he is strong. He won instead of us. Yes, you can do it. As like seven years old King Joash did. You too be a little victors like Jesus already won. Hooray! Let's exercise to get trained as a king and queen. Let's stand up. Make the two lines. There are two gates. So angels watching over you, church angels too, helping you. So you make the two lines and go. Though we are weak, but he is strong. So you are belonging to the children of God. Be uh, strong like a lion, diligent like an ox, wise like a man, rapid like an eagle. So your father king is majesty, wonderful, and great mighty kings, king of kings, lord of lords. So we have to now processional marching are you ready line are up attention it's time to worship are you ready ready to go back to your seat right step your right foot Le right feet left feet one two one two three four our heavenly angels are watching over you our church angels are helping you step carefully and slowly like princes and princesses of heaven thank you your highness princes and princesses